Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.1 Beta 3. This came in at a pretty small 154.1 megabytes. So let's take a look at the build number. The build is 15B5086A, and with this particular update, we have not really much on the surface as far as what's new, but there's a few things in the background. So for example, there is about 10 bugs that have been fixed, and 10 known issues still. So there's little things in the background that have to do with the speakers on iPad Pros, just like they mentioned last week in the notes, but they've mentioned similar things as well, uh, mostly for developers and API plugins, things like that. Now there's no new emojis as far as what we had last week we had with Beta 2. Beta 3 doesn't have any additional emojis, anything like that. There also is no peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay. So if you go in the settings, in settings, we don't have peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay under messages, anything like that. It's just not there yet. And we also don't have messages in iCloud. So there's nothing under Apple Pay wallet messages in iCloud. And there's no new wallpapers that we have from iPhone 10. So none of that has been included. However, one thing that they've fixed is the 3D touch lag. So this is my iPhone 8 Plus, and many people are reporting this on other devices as well, but the touch lag that we didn't think was going to be fixed has been fixed in this update, and that's a really nice thing, really. At this point, we thought it'd never be fixed. So now it's working, and it's great. Now, one of the other things to note is there is a bug that I find that when I unlock the device, sometimes it rotates by itself. It seems to be mostly fixed, although right before I started recording this video, it seems to have reappeared, although not as often. So I don't know what's going on with that. Now, as far as everything else goes, touch responsiveness seems to be a little bit better for me. It seems like there's less stutter, there's less slowdown, and things overall just feel much more fluid as I've been using it since about one o'clock or 1.30 by the time it was installed. So everything's nice and fast. Battery life will have to wait a few days to find out if that's good. That usually takes a while to actually determine that. So I normally give it one to two days to figure out if that's any good. Now another thing to note is the Geekbench scores. I always run those and this time around we've got 10,212 for multi-core and 4,262 for single core. Versus last week we're right on par so I would expect very similar results. Uh, as far as speed, although, like I said, it does feel a little bit more smooth all over the place. So I'm really happy with that. Everything seems to be opening nice and quickly and no lag whatsoever. Of course, this is an 8 plus, so I don't expect that to begin with. But in general, it seems to be pretty good. So that's it as far as iOS 11.1 beta 3. Nothing else other than that. If you've found anything, though, let us know in the comments below. Thanks to John Cooper for sending this wallpaper along. I'll link it in the description below. If you'd like to send me a wallpaper and if it, it's something I pick, I'll give you a shout out in the video as well. You can send that to me through email or through Twitter. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <music>